My name is Jesse Mwai, and I want to take this moment to just greet you and salute you in that wonderful and matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me. I just want to share some wisdom for fools in this particular recording. And uh, I want to just challenge every one of us, especially in this season and in these times that we are living in. We are in the 21st century, but in this 21st century, and especially during this particular season, we have all been subjected to you know, this pandemic that has brought about a whole lockdown in the whole world, and uh, which has resulted in a number of things kind of shifting and changing. One of the things that has definitely, definitely shifted, or probably not even shifted, we have been pushed into whether we wanted to, whether we were resisting initially or not, is the virtual space, the virtual space. And I'm talking about the internet, I'm talking about social media. Uh, most of our meetings right now, we are doing them virtually. And uh, I'm holding in my hand, actually, this is a mobile device. I'm told that as long as it is, uh, it can do more than just make and receive calls, they refer to it as a mobile device because uh, with it, you can do so much more. You can surf the net, you can chat with people across the world, you can access social media platforms, and this then becomes my passport to the world. We are living in a global village. We are living now more than ever before in a virtual space, whether we realized it or not, whether you're a digital native or uh, a digital uh, immigrant, for those of us who are born after computers, others who are born in this age of computers, uh, it doesn't matter who you are, we have be all been forced. And uh, whether you were comfortable using a computer before, now you're being forced to be able to use a computer to be able to get into the internet because this is the way now we are meeting. This is the way we are transacting business more and more, more than ever before. Now, that means that uh, we have a new reality that is, that is within us and with us and it will definitely go way beyond coronavirus. And therefore, I just want to share with you some wisdom for fools. You know, the Bible says this, and you'll understand why I have chosen that particular uh, title for this particular recording, uh, is because the Bible says in Math, Ma, uh, Matthew chapter 10, verse 16, Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. Therefore, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. <laughs> Notice using four different animals, actually, in that very, very, just one verse. First, he says, we are as sheep. Sheep are characteristic of one thing. I think one thing you know about sheep is that sheep are by nature very foolish. You know, sheep don't, are not the wisest of animals. So you do not associate sheep with wisdom. Actually, you associate sheep with foolishness. And he says, and of course, not only in this part of the Bible, but even later we are told, oh, we like sheep have gone astray. Each one has turned to his own way. But then he says that we have been sent as sheep in the midst of wolves. Wolves are those ravenous animals that are ready to kill and to destroy. But then we are told, although we are in the midst of uh, wolves, that we ought to be as as wise as serpents. Now, serpents or snakes are obviously dangerous animals, but they're, they, they're shrewd. You know, a serpent or a snake will sneak up on you while you least expect it silently as, I mean, as silently as possible. And suddenly before you realize it, this, this thing can actually come and bite you and you'll be normal. But then we're supposed to be wise as serpents. So we're not supposed to be destructive, but just the wisdom of a serpent. But then we're supposed to be as innocent or as harmless as doves. You know, doves are very shy birds, kind of birds, you know, and we're supposed to be as, as innocent or as harmless as doves. So we are being sent as sheep that are foolish, among uh, ravenous animals, wolves in this world, and we are supposed to be, have the wisdom of serpents, but also we are supposed to be harmless as doves. Isn't that amazing? An amazing combination of different figures there, of different animals, just to describe our mission and the way God sends us into the world. 
Now, in this new reality of the virtual space that we find ourselves, I've discovered that it's a whole different world. It's a whole different new world for many of us and we are being forced. So we are spending more time there. Our children are spending more and more time in the internet. And uh, one of the things I have discovered, if you have used the internet even for any short duration of time, one of the things that you will know is that the internet is a jungle. It is a jungle out there. And I assure you, there are wolves in that jungle. So the internet is, is one of those places we actually have to protect ourselves, we have to protect our children, we have to protect our, 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 our young ones, our loved ones from the internet because the internet is, is a jungle. It is a place that is, that is full of wolves and all manner of crazy things going on. And they normally say that the, the internet never forgets. You know, that virtual reality, that virtual space never forgets. So here is some wisdom, first wisdom for fools you know, for sheep, those who have been sent among these wolves, is this, please be very careful about what you post on the internet, in your social media page, maybe Facebook or, or Twitter, whatever the case may be. Be absolutely careful. Be very selective about the, 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 the things that you post there. Why? Because the internet never forgets. Recently, in our country, we saw the case of a lady who had been appointed to a, a prestigious government uh, position to serve in a board but because of something that she posted some while ago that opportunity was lost. Whether it was right to do so or not is not my argument here but whatever you post there you need you must be careful because one day it might come to haunt you it might cost you an opportunity. So I want to ask and beg you even in a moment of frustration be careful the things that you post on the, be wise about what you post. Number two, wisdom for fools. Number two, do not overexpose yourself on the internet. There are certain aspects of your life that should be private and should be personal. Don't, don't expose your family members on the internet. We have predators out there who are looking for an opportunity to pounce on you. There are wolves out there. Protect your family, protect your love. Don't post pictures of your children on the internet. It is not wisdom. Uh, don't, don't post uh, your address on the internet or personal information, financial information, or what car you bought the other day or where you live. Don't post those kind of things on the internet. It is not very wise to do so. Some wisdom for fools. That is number two. And you have to be careful because remember, there are wolves out there. Number three, protect your loved ones, protect your children. There's all kinds of software now because there's all manner of explicit website, websites on the internet. Protect your loved ones. Protect that virtual space. If you have internet at home or you have a gadget, maybe a computer, protect your loved ones. Install the necessary uh, software you know, in your, in, your, in your home networks or in your devices. Protect your children. Because remember, there are wolves out there that want to destroy you, want to destroy your home. They want to destroy your loved ones. Wisdom for fools is number four. Is this, be careful who you interact with on that virtual space. Oh, I tell you, the number of con men, people who are conning themselves, people create uh, profiles, that are fictitious, you know, fictitious profiles, and they will try to extort you out of money. Uh, others will try to give you a deal, or they will send you some information telling you they've come across a large amount of money. It is not true. Be careful. Be careful who you trust on that virtual space. In other words, it's a brave new world. It's a brave new virtual reality that we find ourselves in. But please, embrace some wisdom for fools. Be out there. Uh, like a sheep you have been sent, be careful because there are wolves all over, be subtle, be clever, be shrewd as a serpent, but be as innocent as a dove. Finally, some wisdom for fools, use the internet for the glory of God. Use the internet, post something positive, encourage somebody, post a scripture, post some encouraging quote, give something positive. 
you know, there's all kinds of trash on the internet being generated every day. Do not be a peddler of fake news or false news or alarmist news. Be one who spreads the good news in the internet. That is wisdom for fools. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. Until next time, amen.